This video, we're going to do just a quick breakdown on the best way to run the dollar defense, not only because it creates better pressure for you, but it's going to also create better coverage opportunities for you. Uh, if you do kind of what we're going to show you in the video. Now, if you want to get my full ebook on dollar, it is linked in the description. I, I just think this is such a good defense. There's so much you can do out of it. It is the best defense in the game. If you want to get my full ebook, we teach you everything that I know about Madden, not just out of dollar, but out of all kinds of other formations as well. And we're going to be dropping a 3-4 odd defensive ebook in there soon because I found some really cool stuff out of that. It's a great red zone defense to pair with this dollar. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about it. Free safety zone blitz. We're in the Chiefs playbook or multiple defense. Right now I'm in multiple defense, but you can find it pretty much in any formation that has dollar or any playbook that has dollar. Okay, auto flip has to be turned off and we have our base align set to on. I don't know if I have it set to on, but it should be. Okay, so base align on. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press. Now, uh, this will come in, but I would say it's just not as good. It does come in here, but it's easier to pick up. So the way that you make this blitz really, really good, and we saw this in the Madden Bowl with Wesley against Dez, what you're going to do is you're going to manually back off the slot corner on the right side. By manually block, or backing him off, of course, I say that, and practice mode is terrible for showing this blitz, but this blitz will come in better if you back off the slot corner on the right side of the screen. So we'll show that one more time, and then we'll talk about some other stuff that you can do around the defense as well. So another thing that you can do around the defense, not a lot of people have been talking about, is this right here. So if we want to get this guy to come through the A-gap, uh, we need to widen out the blitz angles of the defensive line. The way you're going to do this is just by hitting R1 twice, which is going to be uh, to contain the defense. And then all you're going to do is just manually re-blitz the right side of the screen defensive end. And now that's another method to increase the likelihood that this blitz will come in. Okay, if you cannot get that four man to come in, what you need to do is blitz the slot corner on the left. So this kind of leads me to my like hypothesis about the best way to run the dollar defense, which is to back off the right slot corner and to press the left slot, left, the, uh, left slot corner. So basically you're gonna, your alignment, every single play is gonna look like this. Now the beauty of this, especially against formations like bunch or bunch strong offset or bunch strong nasty, is, you, is this guy becomes a very relevant uh, player for defending a double corner route or a short corner route. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So um, you'll see here, if I go over here to wide trail and we run a double corner concept, Take a look at this curl flat zone. You're going to see not only are we going to have a good chance to get screamed at, but that curl flat defender will actually play um, the, the short corner route. And the reason why he will play short corners is because he is a backed off defender. He's not pressed up, which is a big, big deal um, in terms of making your defense play a little bit better uh, in, in certain things that you want him to play. Now, Another thing I want to say about this defense is a lot of people are going to block a running back to try to pick this up. Well, if you blitz this slot corner on the on the left, you'll see here he is going to be able to basically pick up the running back and allow the A gap to come in. Now, let's talk about in terms of personnel, why I believe that this is the best personnel to run this defense with because Randy Moss is 6 foot 4 with zero AP lurk artist and Julius Peppers, I'm not sure how tall he is. I want to say 6 7, but he's tall. He's super big, but he also has really, really good blitzing statistics and he gets free lurk artists. So he's the perfect guy for this little fatigue glitch that uh, they put back into the game. Thanks, EA. Uh, and so what you'll see is this five-man pressure becomes really good because not only can the five-man come in clean, but everybody that is rushing on this five-man rush because you have a Gronkowski, you have Peppers, they can all shed at a really, really high level. So this becomes a great little defense. And then the cool part is this hard flat, because of where he's actually positioned, we can do so much with this because that hard flat, let's say they, um, you know, they say, okay, well, you were, you know, defending my short corner, so I'm going to go to this setup out of verticals. Well, now... That guy is so tall, he's running right down to the ball, and it just gives you a, a better chance of being able to pick stuff off. So I really like having a super tall guy over there on the right, and I think the key to this defense ultimately is you want to back off the slot corner on the right, and then you want to blitz the slot corner on the left. And pretty much every pass protection that I've ever seen against this, that slot corner comes in a really high percentage of the time, or the A-gap comes in, or they just shed really quickly um, because the game knows that you're sending five. In essence, you, if you blitz your user, you're kind of sending six in a way, 
And so it just really makes this blitz hard to consistently pick up. So little tip, little tactic today to help make this defense better. And uh, in tomorrow's video, we're talking about how to pick it up.